Thanks, Walter. It was a big week on the Curse of Oak Island. They dug a lot. And they found something that was very interesting next to a tree. They found a rock. And the rock appeared to have some sort of design to it. It was fantastic. And they're trying to figure out if this rock was just there for a decorative purpose or is there some meaning to it? Because the rock was like a perfect, seemed like it was engineered and shaved off. And it was very ancient. It was in the ground. All right, Smith's Cove. The Legina brothers, they were at it again, digging in Smith's Cove, getting water out of the way, and bingo, pay dirt. Mr. Toots, Mr. Toots. Sorry, sorry, Walter. That was Mr. Toots, the dog. Okay, on the curse, they dug through and they found rock formations that were obviously man-made, perhaps by the Knights Templar, under about 15 feet of dirt in Smith's Cove. Now, what does this mean? Does this mean the Holy Grail? Does this mean a map to the incredible treasure that's located on Oak Island? Many people have died. They have died trying to reach this treasure, and they're now getting close in season six. No actual word on the mega bin, which is very intriguing to all of us who love the Curse of Oak Island, but perhaps we'll know in season seven or eight. Walter, that's your report. I'm Vila Hool of Muskegon, Michigan, noted expert on the Curse of Oak Island for Sterling on Sunday.